Hello, my name is Chris Montalewski, and I'm the founder and CEO of Immersium. This video is designed to give you a brief introduction to Immersium, to introduce you to some concepts of museum VR, and explain how Immersium can help your institution extend your audience, deepen their visitor experience, and go beyond the limits of your floor space. We bring museums closer, and at the end of this video, we hope you'll know how. We're often asked, what can museum VR actually do for an institution? While Museum VR can do many things for you, we tend to think of it as addressing four key goals. First, it can engage new audiences. Whether you use Museum VR in gallery or not, it is a digital medium similar to mobile apps, websites, or social media, all resources that no institution can do without in today's modern world. Similarly, Museum VR can be used to engage with new and potential visitors around the world. In concrete terms, I'd like to introduce you to Jesse. Jesse's a smart kid, top of his class, with a passion for both the arts and the sciences. His teachers expect him to go on to an Ivy League school and someday do great things. He's the kind of visitor your museum should engage with, the kind your museum can best inspire. But there's one problem. Jesse lives 300 miles away from your museum, and it's not likely he'll ever have the chance to come visit. Should your institution write Jesse off as out of reach? At Immersium, we don't think so. Museum VR gives you a practical way of bringing your museum's collection, interpretation, and pedagogy to Jesse wherever he may live. Second, Museum VR can contextualize your collection. Too often, the objects in your collection are presented in a decontextualized fashion, behind glass or on a plinth, with limited opportunity for interaction or context. Now, that's understandable for reasons of conservation. That's very important. But Museum VR gives you the ability to actually put your visitor into the context of your object, letting them share space and time, or interact in ways that conservators would never countenance with a real-world object. For example, why not give your visitor the opportunity to actually use an object in your collection? to examine how it would have been used in its original time and place, or to see how it came to be in its current condition. For virtual objects, there are no conservation concerns, which opens up a wealth of interpretive possibilities. Museum VR also provides unique opportunities to deepen interpretive engagement with your audience. Why limit interpretation to labels, audio guides, and catalog copy? For a concrete example, why not let your visitor wander Monet's garden, experiment with image composition, and freely discuss the painter's influences with a virtual recreation of the famous painter? Museum VR gives your interpretive and educational teams a powerful opportunity to communicate with your visitors and to draw them into an immersive story centered around your exhibit and their interpretation. And finally, Museum VR can naturally extend the life of your exhibit and its available floor space. Too often, exhibits and exhibitions are ephemeral, on view today and gone tomorrow for a variety of reasons. Museum VR allows visitors to engage with exhibits or exhibitions even if they are no longer on view for reasons of schedule, conservation, or floor space. And that is what Immersium is all about. Our mission is simple to bring your museum experience to homes and classrooms all over the world, and to deepen visitor experiences beyond the limits of your floor space. That's why I created Immersium, and everything we do is done to bring your museum closer to people. Our approach has three elements. First, we provide our Immersium toolkit free of charge to museums and VR developers around the world. This toolkit is designed to simplify and accelerate the development of cross-platform museum VR experiences by giving your designers plug-and-play configurable tools for commonly used VR mechanics and turnkey museum-specific features. Second, in Q1 of 2018, we will be launching our Immersium VR app, which is essentially a cross-platform app store for museum VR experiences that will be available on Steam, Oculus Rift, and PlayStation VR. Museum VR experiences integrated with our toolkit will be searchable, browsable, and enjoyable through the Immersium VR app on all of the leading high-end VR platforms, applying whatever admissions pricing policies you may have configured for your experience. 
Third, we can either facilitate or design a custom museum VR experience for you, working with your interpretive teams and our own in-house designers, or with our network of over 200 VR developers ranging from small, one-person studios to large-scale agencies. The Immersium Toolkit is a software development kit that provides turnkey functionality for your museum VR experiences and can easily be used when building either new VR experiences or imported into an existing VR experience. We like to think of ourselves as providing the plumbing for your museum VR experience, which lets your interpretive, educational, curatorial, and technical teams focus on the actual content and experiential design of your museum VR experience. Your team doesn't actually have to use any of the features or functionality that the toolkit provides, meaning that if they want to, they can roll their own solution if they need to. But the toolkit is there to make things easier for them and to shorten their development cycle if they want to utilize it. You can think of your museum VR experience as entirely analogous to your real world museum. We like to think that it all starts with exhibits, which are single cohesive experiences with a single narrative through line. An exhibit in VR is like either an object or an exhibition in a real world museum, depending upon how you've designed it. It is one storyline and one experience from start to finish. Galleries are a collection of exhibits, which may be tied together with a shared theme. You can think of galleries as an entire exhibition, or think of them exactly as you think of galleries in your real world museum. And museums are a collection of one or more galleries and exhibits. Again, just like in the real world. So utilizing the Immersium VR app, your virtual visitors will be able to explore galleries, browse and search menus to find exhibits, and then actually enter an exhibit to experience whatever the experience offers. And your exhibit design can feature whatever your interpretive, educational, and design teams have decided on. Why not discuss en plein air painting with Claude Monet, or flee the destruction of Pompeii, or learn about dinosaur behavior in the actual Cretaceous period? Really, imagination is the only limit with this technology. Once you have built your museum VR experience, you always own your content. No ifs, ands, or buts. Your museum VR experience belongs to you. That means that you determine if and how you want to charge admissions to your museum VR experience. Just like in the real world, you can make your museum VR experience available for free, or you can charge admissions. If you wish to charge admissions, you can either set your own pricing or request donations from your virtual visitors. If you choose to charge admissions, you can either sell permanent tickets, single-use tickets, timed access tickets, or even sell tickets with or without audio guides or labels. You can charge different pricing for your museum members or offer audio guides and labels as an optional upsell, just as you might in a real-world museum. And for groups, you can create custom group pricing models, configure age-sensitive audio guides and labels, and integrate supplemental classroom materials that are instantly and automatically delivered to the group's organizer, such as a teacher or a school administrator. By integrating with the Immersium Toolkit and uploading your experience to the Immersium platform, you are in effect publishing it to the Immersium VR app. The Immersium VR app is essentially an app store for museum VR experiences that allows people to discover and enjoy your museum's VR experience, applying the pricing models that you have configured in the platform. The Immersium VR app specifically supports high-end desktop and console VR, and will be available on the HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and PlayStation VR. Using the Immersium app, people will be able to find and enjoy your museum VR experience wherever they wish to enjoy virtual reality, at their homes, in your museum, assuming you have the equipment in gallery, or in their classrooms, or in a VR arcade. So how can Immersium help you actually design and develop your content? We can either facilitate your development by introducing you to some VR developers from our extensive network of relationships, ranging from small one-person indies to large VR studios. Or, for select launch partners, Immersium's design team can work directly with your teams, uh, utilizing our systematic approach to designing immersive museum VR experiences. As I mentioned earlier, 
Immersium's fundamental goal is to bring your museum experience to homes and classrooms all over the world and to deepen your visitor experiences beyond the limits of your floor space. We are here to bring your museum closer to your audience. And we put our money where our mouth is. Your museum can publish VR experiences on the Immersium platform free of charge, utilizing our toolkit to build those experiences free of charge. If you choose to charge admissions or collect inexperienced donations, then Immersium will share in a portion of that revenue. That's it. We will not charge you any licensing or publication fees for participating in distributing your content through the Immersium platform. For the development of content, that's a little different. Someone will have to develop your content, and your museum will no doubt have to pay for their work. Immersium is happy to introduce you to developers free of charge. However, if you choose to use our design team, then in practice, we would price that on a time and effort basis. However, it is worth mentioning that for those museums that are launching with us in 2018, we do offer specialized financing programs to help you build amazing immersive museum VR experiences at minimum cost and minimum risk to the institution. Thank you very much. I hope that you have enjoyed this presentation and I hope that you'll chat with us soon. We look forward to working with you and we're here to help.